Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Uh, I think it's uh, some years ago that I made an April's Fool about VR contact lenses. And now, finally, they are true. They are existent. There is already a prototype. The company is called Mojo Vision and they are developing these VR AR contact lenses. And that's absolutely great. This is a prototype. And in this video, I will show you what they can do um, and when they will be released. That's gonna be really interesting. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Butios VR, Open Money Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Andy DeFelzer, VR Ambassador, Virtual Escape, and Adam's Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Mojo Vision. <laughs> I, this is crazy. So I think it was two or three years before that I made an April's Fool about uh, virtual reality contact lenses. And now they are really existent. They are here. And I cannot believe that. It's crazy. And the company that is doing that is called Mojo Vision. And um, they have a web page here. And look at this. They're driving with the bikes and they see some elements in their view. Um, for example, the direction where you uh, want to go, the, the um, distance to the goal and um, or to the destination, heartbeat and stuff and that's so great and the next thing is for example it can scan your environment here when you check this out here <laughs> look at this of course this is far 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 in the future uh, that we can see it like this i will show you later what we can see in the current prototype and here's also navigation system uh, where you uh, go um, your um, or some uh, waypoints, perhaps your um, appointments in your view. And it's great. Eyes up. Tomorrow is here. <laughs> Look at this. This is how it looks. And it's cool. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a smart. It's a display. And um, from Germany, um, they are called Mixed DE. They had an interview with the um, founder Mike Wiemer, and he told them uh, a little bit about these contact lenses. So uh, they have an investorship about 150 million dollars. So even Google uh, um, invested into the company and stuff, and it's absolutely great the the interest in this is so really big and even though they uh, collected 150 million dollars uh, they were even bank uh, bankruptcy uh, in uh, 2020 nearly bankrupt <laughs> but uh, fortunately they could manage to to continue and um, you when you get an investor, um, then of course there's a big pressure on you. <laughs> there's a big pressure, but also motivation. And now they they have to to show something. Yeah, they they just don't get away with the money. They they show something, and and this is how it uh, it will look in the future. There is a motion sensor and a a picture sensor, uh, and that's absolutely awesome. Um, with the motion sensor, um, there is, um, if you move your body, um, it, the, the picture is shaking a little bit or whatever. And with the motion sensor, um, you can reduce the, the movement of the picture so it will be stabilized. And th for this, there's the motion sensor. And the picture sensor can, it's, it's uh, like an integrated camera. That means, the, the lenses can see your environment and can react on that. That means it could uh, reduce the brightness and contrast or, uh, um, yeah, or put it higher or whatever, brighter or darker. 
but also it can recognize objects. For example, if I, uh, if I have problems with my eyes, if I can't see very good and I have this controller here, the contact lenses see the controller and can tell me via audio, uh, this is a controller. <laughs> or even can give you hints when you are outside, if there is some danger things happening or stuff. And that's a very interesting thing. Um, so as the picture is uh, projected into your eyes, this contact lenses even work when your eyes are closed, of course, because you, you don't need to see your real environment. Of course, when you open your eyes, you just have your normal environment, you see everything like normal, only the, uh, the um, integrated augmented reality stuff. And um, it's not disturbing, as they say, it's just your normal view with some elements. But if you close your eyes, think about it, you have the dark background and then you can use the lenses as virtual reality lenses. And that's great. But before you think uh, you can play Half-Life Alyx with that, <laughs> this is far, far, far in the future. For now, they are focusing on uh, medical content. So for example, if you have an operation of a patient, uh, a heart uh, surgery or whatever, uh, and it can show uh, the, the doctor what to do and um, perhaps um, show some different stuff, what, what there's a problem or whatever, where you can place something and or where, where you have to cut. <laughs> so this is only for medical purpose for now. But in the future, they will also focus on games or entertainment. But this is really far, far in the future. So it could show augmented reality and virtual reality. Great. Um, the current prototype only can show text, graphics and videos in uh, all um, formats. And I will show you how that looks. Uh, this is the micro display and they show a picture of Einstein. <laughs> and the, this is the micro display and the micro display is only as big as a grain of sand. A grain of sand. It's tiny. <laughs> it's just tiny. A micro LED display and it has a pixel density of 14K. Holy shit, this is the smallest display with the highest, highest pixel density that was ever invented. And I, I, I would so love to show that, to, to try that. So if you have any contact to this company, to uh, Mojo Vision, please tell me, I just really would do nearly everything to try these contact lenses now. Wow, <laughs> please tell me, uh, or if you are watching from Mojo Vision, perhaps there's any way that I can try it now. It, I would do anything for that. <laughs> so great. Um, there's only one thing. Um, if you look with your own eyes, you have different stages of focusing. So there's something in the background that gets uh, focused or something in front of my eyes. This is something that the lenses cannot do for now. But uh, whatever, uh, it's only a prototype. Um, for the uh, battery life, this is uh, crazy because in my April's Fool two or three years ago, I showed something that uh, the lenses are um, powered by a magnetic field uh, that you can wear uh, as a band here on your forehead and uh, this is really something that now is true. So my suggestions and my fool, Abel's fool was really correct. <laughs> so in the current prototype um, there is no battery included so it has uh, to, to get the power wireless. But for the final version there will be a small film uh, over the lenses that will integrate a battery and the battery life will be one day. Great, crazy, right? But there's only one thing that I don't know, that I really don't know and nobody could tell that to me. 
how long. So if I have just normal contact lenses, they are for one day or for, for one month. But if I buy these contact lenses, I think they are around $10,000 or whatever. <laughs> uh, can I use them only for one month or, or how does that work? How can I clean it? Can I put them into the liquid that I normally put my uh, contact lenses in? How, how can I, uh, can I use that? How can I clean it? How can I put it uh, away so I can use it next day when I go to sleep? How does that work? How long can I wear it? That, uh, what material is it? Is it glass? Is it plastics? That's something I really want to know and perhaps there's uh, somebody that can tell that to me. So guys, I have two questions now. What do you think? When can we as a consumer buy these contact lenses um, in the internet? And the second thing is, what do you think what do you want to do with these contact lenses? Do you want to play? Do you want to do uh, uh, workouts or navigation? Just write it in the comments below. That would be very interesting for me. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya!